Today, I will encourage those who question themselves that anything is possible if you believe in yourself. This doesn't mean that you can fly or that you can run forever, but it means that you can achieve anything that can be done by someone else. Have you ever done something that you thought would be impossible? Like getting an A on a test that, was, that you didn't even open the book for, or getting an F on a test that you studied for? If that is the case, then you're the proof that I need for today. You're the outcome of the impossible becoming possible. By the way, the reason why you received an F on the test that you studied for could be not that you can't get an A, but that you didn't try hard enough. This also includes anything from getting a lot of money versus not getting enough and working hard and cleaning houses all day long versus sitting on a comfortable chair looking over a beautiful city. We have a teacher in our school who always says that those who work hard are not always the ones who succeed. But why is that, I wonder? Well, I don't actually know, but I'm bound to find out soon when I graduate and mommy and daddy are not there to feed me anymore. Anyhow, if you set goals to achieve your dream, whatever it is, have an open mindset. And if you never give up, it is more likely you will achieve something and grow as a person, even if you achieve less than what you're aiming for. But you have to try. Because one day, when you're an old grandma and grandpa, you can go back and say, at least I tried. This will help shape communities into the direction of helping us believe in ourselves and helping us become a more successful society. Because we will learn to have a journey in, their life, in our lives. And through that journey, we can all move forward. Moving on. If you want to overcome a challenge, if you want to grow as a person, or if you want to achieve a goal, then think of it this way. You're standing in front of a very tall fence with electrical wires on top. And if you haven't guessed yet, you want to jump over that fence. So how do you do that? You motivate yourself. Because on the other side, there is something you desire. However, in order to do that, you need to set a goal for yourself. You need to know that you might fall on your back and hurt yourself. So you need to stand up and keep climbing. Once you do that, you'll feel better about yourself and you could achieve your goal. You might have to make sacrifices, such as quitting bad habits, like being lazy, and practicing over and over again. Therefore, you need to make time for your goal. How do you do that, you may ask? Well, prioritizing is the best way. Prioritizing helps you distinguish between what you want to do right now versus what you want to have accomplished in the future. Do you want to stay at home and watch TV? Or do you want to go out and work out at the gym? In the moment, you might want to stay at home. But you know that if you do that, you will never achieve your goal of having a good body. There's a study done by Andreas Ericsson, a Swedish psychologist, who claims that achieving greatness requires time. About 10,000 hours is how much the Beatles have spent performing on stage. And same goes for Bill Gates, who spent 10,000 hours programming on a school computer. This is the 10,000 hour rule, which has proven to be true. If you decide to be good in something, like playing an instrument, for example, then to be perfect in it, you need to spend 10,000 hours playing it, which is seven years if you spend three hours a day playing that instrument. Basically, to achieve a certain goal, you have to aim high and to be willing not to give up while spending a lot of time on that goal. In addition, confidence leads to success. Therefore, to succeed, you need to have confidence. Why confidence leads to success is because if you're not confident in what you're doing, you do not know what you're doing. The confidence cycle is simple and goes like this. Fake it till you make it. Just do it and celebrate any success along the way. Confidence comes from the inside. So you need to convince yourself that you can do this and that if someone else can, well, so can you. You cannot be confident if you constantly have insecurities about yourself. To keep fighting for your dream, you have to believe in yourself. You have to look in the mirror and accept your flaws. 
you have to believe you were born for a reason, because we all are. Whether that reason is you sitting on the couch and eating potato chips while watching Titanic, or if the reason is you becoming a star, it really does not matter, as long as you feel accomplished. There's a reason why no one is perfect. And that is exactly it, that no one should be, because otherwise they would feel useless. The happiest people are the ones who live their life to the fullest, no matter if they have wealth, security, or a swimming house with a swimming or a house with a swimming pool in it. So again, prioritize what is more important to you. Do you think you need to like yourself to succeed? Decide now and don't ever doubt yourself. For example, Terrence Stanley, Terry Fox, ran for 143 days and 5,373 kilometers with one leg having been amputated. Eventually, because he had cancer, it spread through his body and he did die. But because he didn't give up, he managed to give inspiration to people to follow their ideas through. Fox shows both practice and confidence to follow his goal. Basically, if you want your dreams to come true, you have to follow them. Never give up, no matter what happens. And most importantly, set goals for yourself. And okay, by now you may think, Anna, but we're not all like Terry Fox. We don't all have such determination, and we can't do it. Well, but everything we do is about our mindset and personalities. If your mind is telling you that you can't do something, then you begin to believe this, and therefore you begin to not do it. Mindset goes from being able to control your body physically to being able to do things you never thought you could do such as Malala Yousafzai, the 14-year-old Palestinian girl who got shot in the head by the Taliban because she wanted to have the right to go to school. However, she survived, and she began encouraging girls like her to go and fight for the right of education. Therefore, her mindset is set into the direction of believing in herself and pursuing on what she wants, no matter the threat, because she prioritized what was important to her. Lastly, do you ever look back to what you did wrong and regret it so bad? Don't. Because people who have no regrets are the ones who realize that all of these mistakes have led them to this, to where they are right now. Even if you can think of many people in your head of what they've done and that the thing that they've done is so bad and it cannot be forgiven nor undone, then think of the ones that you really thought would fail but actually succeeded. Donald Trump sure had a mind growth mindset. We all thought he was going down and would never win the election, but he did. I also have a growth mindset. I failed ninth grade math. And the only way that I was able to move to 10th grade was by doing an online course during the summer, and I did it. Currently, my average grade in math is around 85% to 90. I don't listen to what people tell me about failure because I always believe that there is a way that things can change in a positive way. The only way to stop failing is to change your thought process and to accept failure with a clear mind. You have to let failure flow through you. Let the negative thoughts fly away as you can think of whatever you did wrong and how you can make up for it. Basically, the only way to succeed is by making mistakes and failing. Because if you always do things right, then what is the point of having dreams or goals in the first place? Now, I'm going to ask you to please do something for me. I'm going to ask you to please close your eyes. Yes, even the people who are recording me, mom, close your eyes. Um, and think of something that you regret doing. Think of that one thing that you really regret doing. I don't know what it is, being yourself in public, whatever. Just think about that. And think of how that one little thing made you grow as a person. Then open them and make a wish, something good. Believe it will come true. And if you're actually able to reflect on what you've done wrong and think of how that thing can actually be positive, then you will succeed. Because you know what you want from life, 
and you know how to get it. Thank you.